Last night's severe weather is causing major headaches for Tyler business and homeowners. A big headache. Kid mm -hmm. Medicine Herbert tells us right now how one auto shop is dealing with a mess, and I mean mess, right in front of their doorstep. Madison. Neil, Sarah, this massive tree has been down at a high traffic intersection since Tuesday morning. A business owner with Donnybrook Automotive says that confused drivers were using his parking lot as a detour. I wish they'd clean that up because a lot of people don't want to come over here because they're scared of driving by those lines. At the intersection of Troop Highway and Donnybrook Avenue in Tyler, this tree came crashing down from inside the fence at Rose Hill Cemetery. It fell off that corner. It's been there for who knows, 200 years. In an effort to keep business running smoothly, they reached out to the city to find out when it would be removed. The power company won't touch it till the tree's out of the way. The tree people won't touch it till the power's turned off. I guess the power people said they're not going to shut the power off until they know what what all the tree damaged. Kind of a dangerous situation. So I, I don't know what they're going to do. For Tyler native David Honeycutt, a last minute decision to stay with his parents ultimately saved his life after this tree collapsed into his living room right where he would usually be sitting. It fell right where I would be sitting had I been here. So we had to look at it as a blessing that I decided not to come home. Now, I, would have been seriously injured if not killed. The amount of damage was revealed as daylight broke. Honeycutt now spending his birthday having to sift through debris and what is left of his personal belongings. So we're going to spend, I guess, today, the next couple of days trying to clean up and figure out what we're going to do next. Honeycutt wants to add that he is thankful for the tree service that came to his rescue to help him start his cleanup process. Additionally, officials urge that you beware of signs and workers along the road as crews are working tirelessly to restore the city. I'm live in Tyler, Madison Herber, KETK News.